Welcome, this is Token Craft 2, episode 11. I am the Pack Rat, Linden 7 of 12. Welcome again. Oh, do I have some news. At that bandit camp we were in at the last episode, um, I burned it to the ground. But, I, yeah, I, I saved the baby that was there just in time. Um, I don't know why they were, it was there, whether it was bandits or stolen from somewhere or uh, I don't know. I've worked on a lot of Thumecraft as you can see there's a lot more aspects and stuff in here. And Eventually we'll get back into the Thumecraft book and I'll show you what I've gotten done. Um, yeah, I have what? Oh, come on. Really? You just re gonna keep following me everywhere. I brought dog with me. I was able to uh, to get him. Well, let me let me get him some steak here. He looks like he needs some feeding. Um, yeah, I got dog with me. I went and got. Uh, I added the thematic uh, whatever it was. Uh, Horizons, I think, and it gave me a way to bottle him up and bring him across. And so I did that and released him in here, and he's been happy ever since. But him and this, my dragon mount here, have been best friends now. And the dragon is following me through the walls. And it's, uh... It's really getting to me. Come here, dog. Where are you? Come here. I got something for you. Come here. Now, dog teleports around and follows me everywhere that I am. I don't think dragons eat steak, do they? Maybe. No, they eat raw fish. I should have got something for him, too. Hold on, let me get some fish for him. Hey, hey, what, what, what? What'd you do? Why am I... I'm stuck in a wall or something. See, I told you. I have Twilight Zone luck. I can't actually die doing this because of the armor. But, yeah. Let's see what this is connected to. It's connected to home. I'm inside the dragon because... Oh, the dragon's stepping on me. That's why. That's what's going on. Oh no, it's in his butt. Really? Come on, dragon. I don't even know what to call him. Let's, uh, let's get him some fish. Anyway, what I was trying to say was I rescued this baby that was at the bandit camp. Oh, now he's in love with me too. There we go. Let's feed you up pretty good. Good. Now, you guys leave me alone let me do this. Okay, let's put this stuff away so I don't accidentally hit it. So, I went and brought the baby back. Um, looked around town for somebody deserving that really needed a kid and couldn't find one. I redid my bedroom, decorated it a bit. Yeah, I put in a fireplace and uh, changed my bed and put in a new room next to mine. And this is the baby who grew up very fast. Um, this is Dakota. He is now 14. Pain in my butt. But, you know. Really. You know we're on camera, right? Uh-huh. He uh, just wanders around and sleeps and I tell him some jokes. He doesn't have a mother. He's playing. I'm both. He's never even known about mothers. Um, I'll tell him a story. You know, he, he does like me, but it, he's just... Wow. Um, he, his mood is passive, but he's stubborn. Typical teenager. He's just... Yeah. Um, let's, uh, tell him another story. And he loves stories. Absolutely loves stories. This is his bedroom I made for him. And, uh, I thought it looked pretty good. I even got him a fish tank and, and, uh, let's, uh, let's see here. Let's uh, give him a new outfit. How about that? 
I'm supposed to do it. I don't know how to do this. This way, mm, interact, give gift, uh, right click it. <gasps> there we go. Yep. Now he's got the new outfit on. And he is 14 and surly and dark mooded and he's changed his hairstyle and everything. I mean, look at that. I'm going to have to get rid of some of these toys in here soon because he's outgrowing them already and it's been real I mean only a couple of days he's grown up that fast <laughs> yeah he follows me around sometimes he's got a you know he wanders this place and uh, yeah he talks to George and they play around sometimes he plays with dog yeah I've got to go back to adventuring so let's leave him be in his surly moods um, George Oh yeah, I gave uh, Dog a house, although he never sleeps in it. He sleeps in there with the kid. Yeah, Dakota. And uh, he follows me around while I'm here, but stays with Dakota when I'm not. Um, George has been working on a bedroom in here, slightly. He put in a, a wardrobe. Oh, George. <laughs> um, George. You look a little different, George. George! Mm -hmm. What? What is that you have on? George? I'm talking to you, George. What do you mean you're not going to talk to me? George! George, what's that mm -hmm. you got on? Oh, witch hunter's robe. What happened to your eyes, George? I thought they were uh, like a steely gray or mm -hmm. purple. Oh, you gave up your profession. You're no longer a grave digger. You're a witch hunter. Really? Um, mm -hmm. You might want to get a bigger robe because it's a you're hanging at the back. I mean, it looks good on you, but you know, I guess you've been up to the mm -hmm. like. Really? I guess you've been up to the town above. How'd you get the money to buy that, George? Where's my coins? Mm -hmm. Is that why you're walking away? Um, light on coins now? Um, go see the farmer for some work. You might, um, yeah, be able to afford some more clothes. Yes, the farmer. You were good at digging graves. He's working with dirt, too. Go see the farmer. Mm -hmm. Tell him I sent you. Um, he might want to know where some witches are. You do have a sword, um, crossbow, all that good stuff, George. Mm -hmm. No, huh? Well, George, go. Uh, good luck on your new profession, and um, yeah, I'll. Uh, mm -hmm. Wow, you need some better clothes there, George. That really is not helping you much. You need. Uh, you're, you're hanging at the back. Um. I haven't really done much here. Um, or, you know, I haven't really done much in this place. George is being a little surly himself. He's probably getting it from Dakota. I have worked a little bit on this. Of course, we've got the dragon again. Dragon, you know, you really got to go somewhere else and stop. He's an ender dragon, so he can go right through the walls. My little workshop, I've been, you know... Working on some things in here. I might be do, doing potions and such. Uh, been having a little problem. Excuse me, George. Been having a little problem mm -hmm. with keeping the amount of lava I need to run everything. Um, I finally got these lava generators. And switched everything out to these lava generators. And although I have a lot more power running to the quarry. It's not enough to keep it. Let me just show you this. It's not enough to keep the battery full. So, I mean, all of them were switched out on both sides. Looks like a freight train. Yeah. Um, these are here for just indicators. I've moved the lava downstairs. And it's here. The problem is, though, and it's here, and it's we're sucking up a lot of lava. I have two pumps running, and I can't keep up with it. I can't keep up with just keeping the quarry running. 
Um, we have a lot of stuff coming in from the quarry. It is running a lot faster than it was before. And actually, it's so fast that this chest almost can't keep up with it, converting it. Oh, we got more. Woohoo! But, uh, yeah, we've got a whole lot of stuff flashing through here real quick. And uh, let's show you the chest itself. Yeah, it's just... Oh, it was a little faster before. Ah, let's go ahead and put this red matter in the tablet, which is what I've been doing. Put it in the tablet. And now we have more. Oh, yes. Oh, yeah. The uh, the ring of Arcadia. I'm a dumbass. You know, I had this ring of Arcadia. It does all this nice stuff. I nice stuff. I've used it for fire, and I thought that was pretty cool. I used it for fire. I could go in and burn everything down, and and it worked really good in the bandit villages or towns or whatever you want to call those camps, bandit camps, um, because it'll leave the chests and the beds and all the goodies behind, and it'll just take the tents out. Well. Um, don't worry about Dog if he's down there. He comes out. He tele there he is. He teleports to me every so often. So does he. Yeah. Um, anyway. I I've been having a problem with the lava. I, I can't get enough of it to keep everything running. To keep the quarry running at full speed. I'm nowhere near full speed for that quarry. Let's go up. I want to show you what I'm doing. I switched everything out to the biggest version of the lava generators. And where are is my... Oh, one more up. Yeah, we got a couple more dragons around. And uh, I started working on this. Now, I might have enough now to get another one. Let's see. Do I? Do I? Do I? Do I? No. That's what I was hoping for, the next one. It's about, I don't know, six million or something for one of these. Um, slowly changing out, I'm going to start putting this in. Um, it, yeah, it's a uh, solar generator, of course. But you have to apply a redstone signal for it to discharge. And apparently it's discharged because it's zero. So when the sun comes up, it charges, and I have this set to about... 200 and uh, I'm using the capacitors underneath of it as conduit for power and they also store a lot of RF so I've got a tesseract right here that's connected to the power uh, frequency uh, and it's sending out only so we're getting extra power from this and I'm hopefully I might have to redesign the top of this tower a little bit more. There's my other dragon. What's he doing eating a tree? Hmm. Anyway. Um, I'll get back to that ring in a second. Uh, I'll Hopefully I'll put another line of them here. See, every 200 seconds it switches back and forth. So this can now, if it was daylight, this can now charge. Um, with a signal, it... You know, it... Uh, discharges and hopefully I don't know maybe I can do another line of them down the middle maybe I can run this conduit this uh, redstone over top of them without it blocking the sun I don't know I gotta work on this a little bit I want as much surface area out here as I can get even if I have to expand the top of the tower because these should help with my power and help me actually save some lava down there for when I'm running a quarry. Um, yeah. Um, I've explored a bit of the overworld. Uh, I haven't... Yeah. Let me go back to being stupid. Okay. Ring of Arcadia. Had to get a drink there. Um, Ring, uh, Ring of Arcadia. I didn't know about it. I was running around and double tapped it. Oh, I gotta go down down to the node. I double tapped the, the up key and I wound up being flying. And it's like, wait a minute, how did I do this? How am I flying? I'm not in creative. I hardly ever use creative for anything. 
So how exactly am I flying? So I took off my armor, and I took off, well, everything, and I was still able to fly. I mean, I kept taking off things and waiting until I hit the ground, and I, I stayed in the air until I took off the ring. The ring of Arcadia on my hotbar allows me to fly. Take it off the hotbar, and I can't fly. That's what was confusing me. So I can fly right now with the ring of Arcadia. That is absolutely amazing, and I could probably have flown for a good long time. Okay, we're going to... I've got this node set up. I've put a lot of stuff into it. If you can see, it's all kinds of junk. But it's going to boil itself down to just the primal aspects. And we're about to have a node. I waited for you to be here to see this. Um, let's just pop this one out. And I'm going to put... Uh, redstone signal above it and run like hell. <laughs> Get off me, dragon. I can never take that redstone signal off of there, otherwise it explodes. But there's a lot of aspects in there. See how they turn to zero first? And then they start reorganizing. It's going to take it a minute or two, but then we're going to have real power. We're going to have it for, sorry, I need a drink there. We're going to have it for the Arcane Work Table, uh, the Focal Manipulator, which I do not have the research for yet. Um, let us go ahead and pull out a book. And while we're waiting for that, let me show you. I've gotten, I'm doing all kinds of things everywhere. There it is. Pow. And it goes right across. Now we have power. We have nice power. We have all the aspects. I hope I was hoping for more than that, but eh, that'll do. That's about what you'll get, and it'll power everything. Um, I've done all of this, except for what it doesn't let me do. Oh, wait a minute. This is open now. Not forbidden knowledge miner. Hmm. I need three more void, and I can get that. Let's go do three more void. Void is, oh, air and perdido. Perdido. Air. And this is how you have to make compound aspects. Things like Humanus is a nightmare because then you have to get one of each of these to make one of those. And these take others that are compounds and others that are compounds. And it, it just goes and goes and goes. Okay, we got 16 of those. Let's give me about 30. Because these are both primals, and I have thousands of those now. That's good for now. And then I go back to here, and instead of doing the research, I can just buy it. Ooh, node catalyzation. I have no idea what that does. Um, but uh, we'll get to it. Um, I was buying and doing this. No, I got that one. Already. I can't. This is not open yet, and I don't know why. I guess I have to do other things first. Um, hmm. Already done that. Even though I already had the patterns for those, I can now make them legitly if I wanted to. Nope. I'm just looking for other things to do. I can do these now. I'm not going to waste your time with this right now. Um, I'm just going to do the aspects, which take a long time, and it's really too long to record. And then I'll buy these and then move on to the next things. Um, I used to do all the research until it started driving me bug nuts. Yeah, there are things that I've done and things that I still have to do and mm, lots of stuff I can do and... But it's just the aspects, they're just so, the compound aspects take a whole lot. You know, you'll, you make two, a uh, hundred tier two aspects, and then you'll need to make a tier three, and then you'll make 50 of those, which cuts down what you just made to half, and then you'll need to make, you know, a tier four aspect, let's say. And now you have 50 of 50 of the, the aspects you just made to use, and you cut that down a bit, and now you've got 25 of each. And then the next aspect, you know, and, and it goes on and on and on. On the top of that little pyramid, 
you've got maybe 10 aspects you just made of something that's, you know, fairly expensive. And yeah, I've been working my butt off on this and it depends on what opens up next. Depends on what it's allowing me to do. I mean, I did add the other ones I was missing. Um, it was thematic horizons I had to add in order to get that, that thing to bring dog back. And that's what I, that's all I wanted it for. Um, I'll probably throw that out and make it legitly. I just had to bring dog back. Although he teleports, and I'm not sure if he'll do it across dimensions. I haven't seen him in, in the uh, nether when I went down. Oh, I gotta check the pumps too before I leave. Um, okay, these are a lot of stuff here. Um, don't have, well, I have that one. Don't have this one, it's blinking. Don't have that one. Yeah, see, there's a actually absolutely boatload of, of uh, stuff that I have to do. And then these get more and more expensive as you go along. So these, you know, might look like I have a lot of aspects in that table. It's not. Aspects in this table, these hundreds or thousands that I've got of, of these primals get used up, you know, in an hour. And then I've got to sit here clicking this whole thing for the rest of the night to get more primal aspects in there. So it's still going to take me weeks, if not longer, to get enough aspects in this table to complete what I'm doing. All right, let's put this away. I wanted to show you, I found some stuff to do in the overworld. I did some, well, let's just show you on the map. Here is, um... Let's zoom out. Oh, I'm underground. Uh, I gotta go over. Uh, I gotta go upstairs to, to do this. Um, let's run real quickly upstairs. Oh, let's go to the top of the tower and then I'll show you the map. Mm -hmm. Hello, George. And I'm flying. I can't believe it. I'm so stupid. See, I'm going to try to complement my power with solar. See, now that's fully charged. And when this switches over in a minute, it'll then uh, discharge. The timing between the solar generator being charged and discharged and this, uh, this actual timer here will even itself out eventually. It will, so that 200 will be exactly or close to the charge time of, of the solar generator. Um, it's going to be a lot more. That's nice. It's going to take a lot more with a lot more generators to uh, to get that timing right. If that makes any sense. Okay, I did a little exploring. Since I figured out this rig and work Katie, it could let me fly, I flew around a bit. There is a, another dungeon over here. Rogue dungeon. Um, hmm. There is... There's something else somewhere. Let me see where it was. Another rogue dungeon here. I thought there was three. Maybe there's only two. There's a lighthouse here. And you're not going to believe it. There's a beanstalk with a giant on the top of it. That was just unbelievable. There's a fort or a castle here next to a pyramid. Um, there's a... Um, I don't know. It looks like it could be a portal to the ender. To the end. Um, it's all set up. I haven't broken into it yet to actually see if it was there. Um, I wanted you guys to be along with me when I did that, but I've taken the charm of whatever it was that teleportation lets me do, and I've set places. I set one for here so we can get to that one real quick, and I set one for, where was the rogue dungeon? Uh, a ro both the rogue dungeons so that we can get closer to the beanstalk and the uh, the other thing here. Um, and I'm going to save that for uh, another episode. Uh, each one of these could be its own episodes, but... Uh, yeah, I could check this out now. Don't have anything else planned, really. So let's go to... Hmm, castle? Let's take a nibble. Now that I can fly... And I can charge my own wands. Yeah, I want to leave them home. They're, um, I mean, 
I thought it'd be cool to have a few dragons flying around. They don't really drag. They don't really fly around. They just sort of um, roost, roost on my place. They catch me if they think I'm falling, though, which is what just happened. So I wonder if he'll teleport with me. Probably not, but it'd be cool if he did. Let's see. He does. Oh, and I didn't change it. They'll teleport with you. Oh my god. Castle. 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 What do you mean I can't? And he's stuck in there? Really? Oh, come on, guys. You too? I gotta get back on him. Teleport. Let me out of here with him. Oh, come on. Really? Maybe there's a limit between. That's pretty cool. I'm gonna change my. Ah, ha, ha. Let's change. Yes, yes, yes. And right over here was the beanstalk with the lighthouse thingy. No, it wasn't. It was that ender. Yeah, this thing here. So let me switch back. To, I gotta switch my buttons back and jump off. Jump off. Wrong button. Jump off. Yay! Okay, now I wasn't sure if there was actually um dog. Yeah, that's right. He'll come with me. I wasn't sure if there was a uh if I could make this into a ender let me get my hatchet out, huh? I uh, wasn't sure if I could energize this into an ender portal and get to the end and then adjust my charm of dislocation for the place. I'm guessing not. Look, it's got a thing under it. But that's close to being laid out. So do you... Now you're following me too? Really? Getting in my way? Oops, sorry. Just a scratch. Oh, it's just crap. Um, I don't have one of those, do I? Hmm, maybe I should take that. I don't have one of those. Um, where'd it go? I broke it. <laughs> Good. Anyway, why don't I take these and try to build my own ender portal? Hmm? What do you mean I can't break it? Oh, come on, really? Hmm. How about if I do the other button? No? I can't take these. Hmm. Oh, more chests. Hi, dog. Dog, you're in my way. You know that, right? I'm hitting him with... Uh, I touch him with the hammer and he sits. Well, there's loot. Such as it is. Oblivion frame for bees. I'm not doing bees, but I have never seen one of those. Wow. Anyway, we will be exploring again in the Middle Earth soon. Hmm. What's that? Hard Ender Expansion. Oh, I added that. I didn't tell you about it, but I added that. It's supposed to give us a really cool end. Which is why I want to get there to see it. It's supposed to make the, in the end boss a lot harder and kick my butt. Um... Which he's probably going to do anyway. Let me just dump all this crap. Oh no. You see what I just did? I put my table in there. That's alright. Well, I can't take those, huh? I wanted to take those. Hmm. End portal. I wonder if I can make those. And how hard? Uh, how hard are they to make? If the rain is giving me a little lag. That's why we haven't done this yet. Haven't got through it yet. Come on. You're not going to tell me how to make these. I'll have to look it up then. I can't believe I can't actually break these. 
Hmm, that's not good. Anyway, um, we're about at the end of our uh, time frame here. There is something over here I wanted to show you, right here. Um, let us turn right to about there and head off in that direction. And it's a beanstalk with a giant on it. Uh, we haven't actually taken the guy out yet. And, of course, there's a pyramid and stuff here. With stuff underground. <gasps> Is that... Was that a portal? To somewhere? Ooh. I know we're working on the next episode. Definitely. Um, just over here was... A little like quicksand i got to be careful of. Well, I fly now, so... <laughs> Check the map again. Am I going the right direction? Yes, it's here. Um, <coughs> I just wanted to show you really quick. We're going over the time limit here on my episode. But I wanted to show you really, really quick. The rain is really not helping. That there's a beanstalk with a giant on it. And I just didn't believe that. Um... A little more this way. It's on the next island. Should be about there. I'm looking at the map on the upper right corner. Should be about there, right about here. All these nodes lately, I've been uh, scanning them and breaking them because I'm going to need the aspects for my. Uh and I found this and I thought it was really cool. Um, we're going to investigate that too. I don't know what that is. I have never seen that before. Um, it's right around here. I've been breaking these nodes to take the aspects from them, um, so that I could, uh, turn them into a sensor. Some guy's little beat up old boat. It looks like the front of it's missing, blown off or something. Um, it doesn't look right. But, eh, there's a lighthouse here. Um, yeah. I thought it was pretty cool. We'll, we'll do the lighthouse and uh, see what kind of loot we can get. And over here is... I'm scared. It's, uh, yeah, got spawners and stuff. And I think it's only legit if we walk up it. But I got to the top and it said something about spawn... Uh, yeah. That is the biggest zombie I have ever seen. Um... So, yeah, let's leave it at that. Um, he doesn't look like he's too hard to kill. I'm just wondering why he's up there with two chests on this beanstalk. Um, yeah, just wanted to share it with you. It looks pretty cool. Um, yeah. If I go up, Dog will probably go with me. I don't want him falling off and dying. I don't know how I'd ever resurrect him. But... Yeah, let me land here. End the episode. Alright, if you like what I'm doing... Oh, and I found this floating tree, and I don't know what that is all about. Um, but it's a floating tree. I have no idea. There, floating tree. Is that a spawner? No. Floating tree. I don't know. The rain is keeping me from loading this stuff in very fast. Let's just land here a minute. At the floating tree. Okay, um... I'm going to end the episode here. If you like what I'm doing and you've come along with the ride for the ride, uh, thank you for the ride and we'll check that out too. Um, please subscribe. It helps me out a lot. And um, yeah, see you next episode.